Hey guys, welcome to today's video uh, where I got to real fast replace the battery on the G37 and then uh, we're going to mess with this thing's brakes a little bit or the new ones I should say. Uh, dude, I, I had the GoPro uh, in the 7 and I, I, I was just driving here. I was actually supposed to get primer. Uh, but I, I got so excited. We got it on the highway and, uh, like one exit after we got on a fucking GSXR 1000 got on the highway and, uh, I rolled them and, uh, we, we both took off, uh, upwards of a hundred and, uh, then we slowed down in, uh, third gear, uh, probably a 50 roll, maybe a 40 roll even. Uh, did not know it was a 1000. I was hoping it was a 600, but definitely was a 1000. We took off. He allowed me to brake boost and everything. It, it was a really, like, you you do whatever you want, and I'll show you I, I'm a 1000 and can eat you. Uh, but I took off, and uh, almost all third, I got him. Uh, but right before I went into fourth, he just zoomed past me. But man, I, I should have had the GoPro on. He had a GoPro on, so I don't know if by some chance you watch my videos, man. I like that was an awesome race. Uh, excuse the mess, I haven't cleaned it yet. But again, these are the uh, Brembo. These are Acura TL Type S, uh, 2004 to 2008, I do believe. Uh, I had a choice. You could pay 600 for painted Brembos from a company that supplies Brembos. That's 600 a piece. So that's 1200 just for the calipers. Or I could buy used uh, ones from a junkyard, which were like 400 for both. So 200 a piece. Uh, yeah, 200 a piece. Or I bought remand ones for 100 a piece. Uh, I was hoping that they still used, that it was an actual remand, not a recasting. So a re, a, a mold, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, this is Chinese uh, instead of actually Brimbo casting, but that's the only difference. I actually went in and did what Brimbo does and took out all the casting marks and I've sanded this down quite a bit. You can still see some of the pitting from the casting, uh, but overall, it, it's much better. You can see this is what it looked like before I sanded. Which, this is the back, so you can still see the casting mark there. Uh, it wasn't as big up here, but there was a casting mark. So I took all that down on both of them. And then took it down to, I don't know, I used two... I, I used a lot of different grits. Uh, I should have filmed it, but I was at work, and I should have really been doing it at work, so I just wanted to get it done. Didn't want to waste more time filming. Again, being a bad vlogger. Uh, but anyway, we got to go get black VHT primer for these real fast uh, after I replace the battery on this. So let's do it. Okay, boys and girls, this is... The full kit. We have Evo 10 rear rotors, left and right, that we're going to run up front. I know that's kind of confusing. Then we have the two brackets for the conversion to run these Acura TL calipers front. And then we have some HPS Hawk pads. And then we have the whole combo we got two cans of gold caliper paint one can of flame proof primer because they were out of caliper paint but if you look this is good for 900 this is good to 1300 to 2000 so this will be a really good primer to use so we got an all-purpose foam prep cleaner so we're gonna clean both of these uh, to prep them and then we're going to hit it with the primer and then go with two cans so it will be one can uh, per caliper 
I'm trying to make this as thick as what a uh, powder coating would be. So this is going to be a long, patient process because I, I can't lay heavy coats. I'll get runs. So it's just I'm going to use the heat gun to kind of speed up the process. But still, uh, if I'm going to paint these, I want to do it right. So that's that's uh, the idea, at least. So anyway, this is I paid thirty dollars for these two cans. $20 for the, oh yeah, so I have the clear coat primer, or clear coat caliper paint, and so what we're going to do is, normally I'm against this, but again, when I bought the calipers, I thought it was going to be the OEM Brembo casting, uh, so uh, I don't know why I have the Hawk sticker in there. We have Brembo stickers, double-sided. Uh, we're gonna use, uh, I don't know. I have, we have two small and two big. We'll probably use that small one. Uh, this is why I bought it, but, so the idea, we'll throw that down there. We'll use the primer, or use the cleaner, clean it, prime it, which is probably going to be the end of this video. Uh, then we'll come back after it's dried, hit it with the gold, use all the gold paint there, then let it dry, uh, wet sand it if uh, there's any orange peel or, or runs or anything like that. Then we'll put the stickers on. Then we'll finally use the can of clear and again, use the whole can, so that's half a can per caliper. Uh, and that way, hopefully, the uh, sticker doesn't come off uh, from, the, from the heat of the caliper. Uh, that's the idea. I've never painted calipers. I, I've painted tons of things. So it's all about the prep work. So that's why I took all the time to sand it and go ahead and tape everything. And now we're going to thoroughly clean it with that and uh go from there but uh if if you would have bought used calipers this is still the right uh upgrade for an arc 7 but if you would have bought the brimbos brand new 600 a piece 1200 uh, you'd still have to buy the, the pads the calip or the uh rotors and the uh bracket so you'd be in 200 I have 200 on the rotors, 150 on the pads. It was 120 because it was on sale, but retail for those is 150, and then 220 for those. Uh, so that's four, five, uh, almost 600 dollars uh, if you go retail. So 600 plus the 1200, that's 1800 you'd be spending, uh, which isn't bad, but you can get a Willwood kit for like 11 or 1200 uh the reason why i went we have 200 220 that's 420 120 that's 540 and then 10 dollars for the sticker that's 550 and then uh 250 for those so that was 550 6 700 and then i have 50 dollars in those three and i just spent twenty dollars so that's another 70. so for 770 dollars uh i have this full kit and i'm just going to do the work so far i have two hours in taping these one hour a piece uh because it's it's fully taped on the inside uh which took a lot of time to do uh covered up everything that the pads are going to touch so it will still be bare uh, we're going to leave these empty and I'll just go back through and, and clean them up after we're done so that these rods slide through. But uh went through, this is a black bolt, so I taped the end of the bolt so you'll have black on the gold to match the black on the Brembo. It's going to look so fucking good. Uh, but again, I just have to prep it right and be patient so I don't get runs and stuff like that. So... We're going to clean them up and start this process. 
I am so excited. This shit's going to look so good on the RX-7. Look how big that shit is compared to this. Which is fine. You know, this was good in 88, but uh, it's 2022 now, guys. We got to upgrade at least to the 2000 era brakes. Okay, guys. I got it on the cherry picker. And, uh... We're just gonna paint them all a whole cardboard back here so we don't get overspray. Uh, but yeah, they're already clean. And see, I got all the dust off. We used that foam chemical and uh, it worked really well. So we are ready for paint. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are too. This gold's gonna look so good. So. Uh, Leave uh, right in the comments if you agree with the gold or if you would have picked a different color or if you guys would have, you know, done something else like powder coat these instead, uh, which you can't do with the seals in. So you'd have to take your brand new calipers and rip them all apart and hopefully not break the seals. So, yeah, let's uh, let's put the heat gun on there to make sure we got all the residue off and uh then we're ready for paint primer okay so this is after the first coat and uh is my flash not on it's on it's just not working let me face this way okay there you go now you guys can see It turned out pretty good. We're going to hit the heat gun on there and uh, go for another coat. And we have successfully used one full can of primer on two calipers. They look pretty good. Uh, you know, I'm spray painting out here. It's always best to be in a booth and uh, especially a vacuumed booth to keep dust out and uh yeah i'm just not going to get that quality of environment here it's just the way the way the cookie crumbles so if y'all can i doubt y'all can even see it there's a little speck right there and then there's two spots one there and one there uh I, the sun's shining in my eyes so i can't see if it shows it on camera but Besides that, they're, uh, they're so nice. And already, you can tell there's a, a good amount of coating on that. And so that's, that's half a can per, technically. And then we'll have full can and full can for each. And then half a can again of clear. Uh, I think this is going to work out perfectly. Uh, my prep's really showing now. Uh, you can see how smooth those lines are. None of that was smooth when I got it. I had to work all of this to make it look like that. And same with up here. You can see it's just flawless. It, uh, just looks like that's how it was machined. Same with over here, which you can, you can still see a little mark from where the grinder dug in just a little bit. So, it's not perfect, but they're going to be behind wheels, and like I said, we got $770, let's just call it $800 on a big brake kit. Uh, if something goes out on the track or some shit like that, I can go to O'Reilly's and buy the rotors, and I can buy the pads, all from O'Reilly's or any of my local parts dealers. So, that's why I went this route instead of the Willwood. Uh... I think that's going to be about it. I I really want to paint the gold on there right now just so I can see it. But I really feel like these need to 100% dry. Uh, and then maybe uh, clean it again or, you know, sand it to make sure it's, it's perfect. And then start the gold. So we're going to label this one, uh, you know, big break kit paint job number one or whatever 
And uh, yeah, uh, I also, just because I hop on eBay and buy little shit for the seven before they fucking jump in prices, but these guys got me because they showed three pedals, so I assumed that was gas, brake, and clutch. Uh, but actually it's two of these for a clutch. So this is actually my foot rest. So it technically would sit like this and I'm missing my clutch pedal. Uh, this was bad. It's ripped off of the seven. So really I bought this whole kit just for this one piece. Uh, so I have spares now, uh, in case those get messed up. Uh, or I'll, I'll look at it and if it looks bad, I'll replace it with the new ones. But, uh. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the content, and uh, like I said earlier, uh, I'm going to try hard to, to focus on some videos. I got this thing running, but the, uh, the, the throttle bodies work now. All it really was was a dead cell on the battery, and the computer just wasn't cooperating. Uh, it did the voltage check, basically, and wasn't working. Uh, but since it's on Haltech, it still started. Uh, so now I've got that fixed, but it looks like the ECU was erased because it, when I started, it's like three grand, uh, but they do rev and I was able to drive in and out. So I need to grab the uprev cable from toy speed and see if I can't just reflash it and that will fix it. We've got control arms for this thing coming in. I have this carbon fiber back, which is going to be where the air fuel gauge is on the seven. Uh, and the radio panel, I'm going to delete the wood and make that carbon. Uh, so yeah, I've got other shit in here. I mean, I just stack parts and I just didn't have any motivation last year to do it, but there's brake ducts, uh, already I have power by max, uh, subframe spacers there. We're going to buy the camber kit and redo the whole rear. I have new seals for the diff. Uh, so yeah, a lot of content 2022. Uh, we're going to make the YouTube push, try to actually get a thousand subscribers. That's the uh, 2022 goal. So if you guys are watching this and haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, I, I would love to get a thousand subscribers, be able to do live streams. And uh, I also want to build a sim rig this year, so I want to record some of that. So. We'll see you next video.